Hey, what's going on YouTube? J Dot the Jammer. We're back again with the OnePlus 5. You already know what it is if you've read the title. What's on my OnePlus 5? What's this? A week later? A week later, fam. It's actually a couple of days later, but we'll say a week later since the phone officially dropped in the UK um last week. So first of all, let me just put the brightness down a little bit because that's that's looking bare mad. Um yeah, first of all, what? Um Google Experience Launcher. Now, obviously, I mean the Google Pixel Experience Launcher. Um, I didn't really need to put this on there because the stock OnePlus Launcher. Um, it's got the scroll up thing that which I like. This is what I like. This ooh, see, woo, scroll up and it's got five icons along there. I I dig that, and I've had it on every single. If you've watched one of my, you know, what's on my's before, um, you know that I always have this launcher on every single Android device that I have. Um. It's just a simple launcher. It's got a little Google button up there, which doesn't take up, you know, the whole screen. Um, what is going on in my camera? Let me choose a different background. Um, in fact, while I'm in the background app, let me just show you the wallpaper app that I got. This one's called Wallpaper. Um, you can get it on the Google Play Store. I won't. I might put the link in the description below if you want me to. If you want me to, let me know. I'll put the link in the description below. But it's called Wallpaper. The app is just called Wallpaper, and it's a Google app. But yeah, so um. You know, a lot of you may have seen this before. Basically, you've got your little categories. And inside each category, you've got different wallpapers that are downloaded daily, as far as I'm aware. Um, and, you know, the list and the library just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Um, you can click on anything, you know, and just have that wallpaper on its own. Or you can click on daily wallpaper, and pardon me, <laughs> and have the wallpaper change you know downloaded and changed every day so you can just have this wallpaper and then it will change to something different um tomorrow and it's kind of it's kind of lit it's quite lit keep it simple something you know you don't ever really see the same wallpaper um i don't really see the wall same wallpaper twice in a month even definitely you know it's definitely a different wallpaper um for each day in a month so, um, yeah, that's cool. I'm going to use this one for now since that one seems to be behaving better with my camera. Um, What other apps have I got on here? we got Allo. Obviously, that's my messaging app. Um, We've got Amazon. Obviously, you know, get those purchases on. We've got Ampere. Now, Ampere is quite a lit app. Um, Basically, what it does is it just tells you how much your phone is charging and how fast your charging rate is. So, say, for example... If I'm going to use um, my OnePlus charging cable, but with this little um, power brick, I'm not really going to get that much because obviously my power brick is quick charge compatible and my OnePlus 3 is um, dash charge compatible. So, um, you know, they're incompatible with each other. But um, it just shows you how fast you're getting charged and, um, you know, it should load up in a second. And the, the average is 1,500, you know, for standard charges. Um, turbo charge and quick charge and you know USB PD fast charge um, you usually get over 3,000 milliamps so um, yeah as you can see this is quite slowly charging at the moment um, should I where is my my charger okay just take my word for it guys um, it will charge faster if I have something else so um, yeah okay do you know what? I'm gonna just show you okay I can tell that you guys don't believe me <laughs> right okay so we in the bedroom um, dash charger plugged into my three pin power lead put that up here let's get this plugged in here okay i'm gonna need to do this with can i do this with one hand can i do this with one hand here we go there we go so yeah dash charger plugged into there um we should get at least three thousand going on here <sighs> okay let's have a look okay very awkward very very awkward indeed Oh, there we go. We're getting there. Hey, 19. 29. 33. And uh, 33 AE looks like the most. So, yeah, guys, Um, as you can see, Ampere, it just tells you whether your charging connection um, is dope or not. And it just lets you know whether you've got, a, like, a crap cable or you've got a good cable. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so that's um that's Ampere. Um, then we got obviously Android Paid, Android Wear. I don't actually use the Android Wear app, but the Pebble um app needs the Android Pay app. I mean the Android Wear app apparently, um to work a little bit better. Um, a power and a, you'll see another 
app called Dash Park. Dash Park. Those are just parking meter apps. So when I park my car, if I ain't got change in the car, I can literally just use the app to pay for parking with my card. It's quite useful. Um, I don't really usually have change in my card, car or any money on my card. Um, as a matter of fact. But yeah, you can use that if you've got money. Um, you know, obviously normal apps there. Um, credit expert. You know, experience. Check that credit. Um, Dash Parking, I already said. Instagram downloader, when you want to download that Instagram booty, you want to get the whole video, um, you can use this app to download it. It's quite cool. I mean, I'll show you how it works. You should already know how it works anyway, but um, I'll just show you anyway. So, yeah, you go to, let's say, um, okay, let me just download the video. Um, something that's a bit banter. Um, it really got much going on here. Not much going on. Um, okay yeah but okay let's just say if you want obviously you can screenshot um anything you want to but um let's just say for example you know picture of some trainers copy the url then you go back to this app oops no you don't you go back to did i even open the app go back to this app you paste the url you press download and then it, you can download the picture and then you can view the picture and then you can just do it that way if you want to. Obviously, you can just um, print screen, but, you know, it gives you the actual square of the picture there. So, um, yeah, that's quite a useful app, especially for videos. I couldn't find any videos there at the moment um, for some reason. But, yeah, you can do that. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Google Fit. Um, yeah, Google Fit's kind of lit. It just shows you, you know, your steps and stuff like that, how far you've been cycling. And it, you know, tracks your walks and everything like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, and it's got your statistics there and everything. Uh, Flipboard is my go-to news app. So any news that I need, like for example, when the OnePlus was just coming out, um, you know, I had a little OnePlus section going on here. Um, you got Zelda stuff there. You got OnePlus stuff here. Everything that I'm interested in, it comes through to this news feed. So you've only got to go to one place to get to all your news. Which is which is cool for me because obviously I'm lazy. So um, this is usually they get lots of stuff that I'm interested in. Um, Nintendo section there, as you can see. Um, oh, what was that about Bayonetta? Bayonetta Switch release date developers hint for. Oh, okay. Bayonetta on the Switch. You got Android phones, best Android phones that you can buy in 2017. There we go. They got the OnePlus a five there. Obviously, gaming technology, technology UK. One plus, this is just one plus stuff. Copying the iPhone is what caused serious one plus five screen issues. Apparently, is there? What is the screen issue? Uh, da, 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 da. Buyers complained about an unexpected display issue on their brand new phone. One plus responded, nothing wrong with the screen, and jelly, and said the jelly effect when scrolling is natural. The jelly effect? What jelly effect? People are dumb. But <laughs> okay, so um. Yeah, there you go. I can't really see no jelly effect. But yeah, that's um Switchboard or Flipboard, whatever it's called. Um, Live little music app. Obviously, got the game app there to get all the games that I need. I didn't really open that, so I'm not sure why it popped open there. But yeah, got, all the get got the game app. Download all the games I need and everything. That's very calm. You can buy stuff. It's got my reward points there. Um, I'm not sure if it's probably... Oh, okay. This is awkward. Please don't use my money. I'm gonna to have to. Okay, I'm gonna to have to edit this out. Um, yeah, so you got all that there. Um, what else have you got? Inbox. You got InShot as well, so you can crop your um shots, and you know edit videos together, which is kind of cool. It's kind of the only um working video editor I know there is on Android. So that's kind of calm. Obviously, as I just showed you, we've got Instagram, keeping it moving. Leo's Fortune, a dope little video game. Um. I have this on all my phones, to be honest, and I get quite far, but then when I switch my phones, I just lose all my data. It doesn't keep your data for some reason. I'm not sure why, but um, yeah, I'll just show you. The graphics are really good. I first got this game on the NVIDIA Shield, and I saw it on 1080p on a TV, and hold on, let me just get that to focus. The graphics are actually really good, but it's a very simple game, and... There's not really a lot to it. You just, you know, slide along um, and you, yeah, you go through. I don't really think there's much puzzles. Um, yeah, maybe there is actually. Bit of platforming, a bit of puzzling, um, collecting the coins and stuff like that. Um, yeah. 
Guys, don't, don't sleep on the game. Don't sleep on it. Look, you got to get this to come down. Look at the puzzling. Look at the puzzling right there. There we go. And you go, ooh. And then you go, go up here. And then, yo, yo, this game. This is one of them games, fam. Oh, oh. Make that go over there. And, yeah. So that's um, Leo's Fortune. Quite a decent. Oh, okay. Quite a decent game. Um, And, you know, the Adreno 540 is more than capable to run it. Um, is there any graphical settings? Let me just have a look. I don't believe there is. So, um, yeah, and you can use that game with a controller as well. Um, what other games have we got going on here? Mario Run, um, National Rail, obviously, if you're in the UK and you want those, you know, National Rails, you can use that. NatWest Ninja, live game. Uh, let me just, okay, I need to do some updates to show you that. So I'm going to show you that in a separate video where I actually just, you know, show you um, games and stuff like that. Um, what else we got going on here? Let me have a look. Radio, radio players live. Um, get all your internet radio shows streamed directly to your phone. And it doesn't really use that much. Um, it don't really use that much. Not memory. Um, data either. Like I had it streaming for like at least the whole day for every day. Um, last week, and it used about hundred mega. Let me see how much megabytes it used actually. Like, um, let me not try and guess. Let me just show you. Mobile data usage. Radio. Where's radio player? Radio player. Yeah. Used about 100 megabytes. So, um, not really that deep. And it gives you all the radio stations and stuff that you need. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, Shuttle is my dedicated music player all the time. I actually haven't put my music on this phone yet. But when I do, it is my go-to music player because it's just so simple and it works. And, yeah, it's just calm, guys. No music on that at the moment, though. Very awkward. Um, got ways go to sat nav, but obviously it's been it's been acting up a little bit. The reason why I like it more than Google is that Google doesn't realize when a road is shut <laughs> temporarily. Um, Google will keep trying to make you go down that road, and it won't give you another option. Whereas ways will give you lots of different options to get to the same place, whether they be longer, whether they be quicker, um, whether they be you know shorter in length. And vice versa, vice versa. Um, Twitter, WhatsApp, YouTube, YouTube Studio, speed test. You know, obviously, gotta test the internet anywhere you go, especially if you're a Wi Fi hotspot bandit like myself. And you go, you know, you go connect to a public hotspot, you're like, oh, how fast is this hotspot anyway? And um, it's dead, so yeah, yeah, you gotta obviously be able to check your Wi Fi speeds and your data speeds at any time let me just let me just stop that test midway and start doing it on my um let's just see how fast my how fast my 4g is is it a lot slower than my home internet or is it faster let's have a look it's it's very it's a lot slower than my oh that's terrible my 4g is terrible right now i'm gonna have to call vodafone and see what's going on but yeah guys um so thanks for watching um that is the what's on my OnePlus 5 one week later. Oh, this game is lit as well. This game. I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot. Right, so you scroll left and right. And you collect numbers, right? And the thing is, if you don't collect enough numbers, you can't go through the blocks. So I've got four. What in the world? What? What? Oh my god. What is this? What? What is this? Okay, it's got adverts. Um, but yeah... <laughs> So look, I can go through this now. I got, I got two. I got none now, so I can't go through anything. I can go through that one. Got five now, so I can go through anything with five on it. So one, two, and it takes your coins away, so you can go through the one right there. You know, what I'm just, guys, it's I'm not I'm not selling it. See, look, okay, I got snakes there. I'm not selling it, but that is the ultimate game right there. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you got on your one plus five. Um. Um, yeah, thumbs up, subscribe, I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, Jay Jamo out.